I recently took a solo trip to New York City and it was such an amazing experience. It was my first time in the city alone, so I was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I ended up having so much fun. My trip got off to a classic start with a very early wake up call to go to the airport and after a quick flight to LaGuardia, it was time to grab my Metro card and head into the city. I'm in New York and I'm so happy to be here. I'm also so uncomfortable filming myself right now. Usually when I do this in public, I have someone with me to just kind of like take the edge off, but uh, we're making it work. So um, I took the bus to the subway, took the subway into the city, dropped my bag off at the hotel. Now I'm going to the Met, it's 11 a.m. So I already had a full day, but excited. Okay, so the Met was... Obviously amazing. After my time at the Met, I decided to take a quick stroll through Central Park and I ended up walking a little bit more than I meant to. I thought I was walking downtown when I first came into the park. I was just confidently walking and I walked across it. So now I'm on the west side, I think, and uh, I need to be on the east side. So we're gonna have to make that trek back across at some point. It was definitely a trek, but it was a fun trek. I went to the Conservatory Pond, Bethesda Fountain, and I even found a great bench to people watch from. How about a bench? And finally, I made it to the end of the park by walking through the mall. Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted, I'm in my hotel room. I'll do a quick room tour. Okay, here she is. It's so cute, like, I like it. What a view. Okay, little TV, little lamp thing. Swing it around, little vanity, and let's see, a bathroom. So nice. Okay, you're just gonna be crooked. That's just gonna be how it is. So I feel like the theme of this trip is getting out of my comfort zone. This is a super new experience and it's been really fun so far. I'm exhausted. I'm also really proud of myself for like navigating the city getting myself here um and just like you know just doing stuff by myself um unfortunately i was not wearing the right shoes today and i have a pretty bad blister i will not show you my shoes are bloody though so obviously it's a little bit later um i don't know how i didn't realize this but you can see the empire state building from my room so that's pretty cool i'm just gonna keep looking out the window for a while and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning, welcome to another day in New York. I'm just getting ready. Um, I have already been out. I got a coffee at Starbucks this morning, which I know there are better places in New York to get a coffee than Starbucks, but something that I'm like kind of realizing about being by yourself and solo traveling is that it's okay to like ease into your day with something that's like comforting to you i was feeling a little bit like anxious about like where am i going today like what am i gonna do is is what i want to do like gonna be comfortable to do alone which my goal is actually to get out of my comfort zone but just to like ease into that i feel like it's okay to you know do something that is familiar before jumping into the big wide world of New York City. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish getting ready, then I'm gonna head to Soho. I wanna get a Corona at Dominique Ansel. Last time I was here with my mom in 2019, we went to Dominique Ansel for the Blooming Hot Chocolate because I had seen it and I just wanted to, you know, get a video of it. It's in my last vlog if you wanna, not, or my last New York vlog from 2019, um, if you wanna watch it. But anyway, we just randomly got a Corona and it was like so good. They're famous for them, we didn't even know. And then, um, we went back the next day and they were they had sold out because it was early or it was late it is early now let's see actually it's nine o'clock already i've been up for a while but i just wanted to like kind of get a slow start to the day so let's finish getting ready and then we'll go i've like i was gonna be getting ready while talking to you but i got distracted so okay let me let me get ready and then we'll be back then it was off to soho for a cronut 
And in typical New York fashion, there was a long line, but it went pretty fast and I got to look at these beautiful desserts while I waited. The cronut has been secured. Then we went on a little walk over to Washington Square Park, and when I say we, I mean me and the cronut, so I could sit on the bench and eat it. Okay, I took my cronut to Washington Square Park. Not the move. Uh, it turns out more of a knife and fork situation, so um, <laughs> I ate a little bit. I'm gonna hold on to it, but I'm gonna go shopping a little bit in Greenwich Village, so I don't know how long I'm gonna actually be hanging on to it but hopefully I can get a knife and fork before it goes bad. Also just like not ideal with the white shirt situation. I spent the next few hours walking around in the village and popping into some cute little shops like this one, which was goods for the study. I also went to Greenwich Letterpress, but it was a small store so I didn't feel comfortable filming. So here's more from goods for the study. And then I went to Three Lives and Company, which is a really cute bookstore. Okay, last we spoke, I was in the village. I went to Three Lives and Company, which is a bookstore. I also went to Greenwich Letter Press and Goods for the Study. That was really fun. I liked that. Then it was like around time to eat and I was just wandering around the village trying to find a place to eat. First of all, almost everywhere is so expensive and it's Saturday and everywhere was really crowded. So I, I didn't find anywhere to eat. <laughs> I sat down at one place but I realized like no one around me had gotten their food or had even ordered yet. So I was like, this is gonna take forever. So then I just kind of walked around. I ended up at Chipotle. So I'm not doing great on the food front. So I'm gonna plan out tonight what, where I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna commit to eating somewhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just at the hotel. I'm gonna like recoup for an hour or so and then I'm gonna head back out. I picked a restaurant and it's kind of fancy. So I'm a little nervous. Dinner on my own was actually so enjoyable and I'm so glad I did it because I feel like it really boosted my confidence for the rest of the trip. I was sitting next to a couple that seemed like they were on their first date, so I feel like all of our nervous energy just kind of counteracted each other. Afterwards, I got milk bar ice cream and walked around in the village again for a little while. It was such a nice night and this experience actually ended up being one of my favorites from the trip, so it just goes to show that getting out of your comfort zone can really lead to some great things. Before we start the day, I just need to give a quick shout out to these band-aids. I got a blister on the first day and then yesterday I walked 12 miles with no issues, all because of these. So if you get a blister, check these out. Good morning, I'm off to get a bagel at Tompkins Square Bagel and then we're gonna head over to Brooklyn for the day. I'm in the East Village on my way to get a bagel. And I'm not sure if I've ever been over here before, but it is so pretty. I love it. Since I'm here, I definitely recognize this from Instagram. I know this is shocking, but Tompkins Square Bagel also had a really long line. But let me tell you, it was worth it. Premium bagel content coming at you in three, two, one. Wow. After absolutely devouring my bagel in the park, I hopped on another subway and headed to Williamsburg. Okay, we're in Brooklyn and I just went to the Catbird store and bought a little locket charm and they're gonna engrave it and ship it to me. I'm not a big like souvenir person, but I do like to get jewelry. Well, I've only done this once. I got this ring in Florence when I was studying abroad there, but I like to get jewelry to remember like important trips by. So just ordered that and it should be at my house soon. I'm at Domino Park now. Okay, I was planning to take the ferry from Williamsburg to Dumbo, but apparently the ferry has been closed since April, so now I have to walk to the train station, get the subway back to Manhattan, transfer trains, then take the subway back to Dumbo. So, not ideal, but we're making it work. The good news is I got to ride the elevated train, which I hadn't done before, and I got to see this really cool view across the river. When I finally got back to Brooklyn, I went to the Dumbo Flea Market, which was really cool. Guess where we are now? If you've been thinking to yourself, wow, Emily's done a lot today. I wonder if her feet hurt. Um, the answer is yes, they do, but it's worth it. 
Okay, so now I'm about to go get me a New York slice. Okay, it's raining so I'm filming on my, on my phone, but I was misinformed. They only had a personal pan instead of a slice, and also they were only doing takeout until four. It's now three, so um, to get out of the rain, I'm going into a food court and I'm gonna find some food there. Time Out Market was a great place for lunch. They did not have pizza. I think it might be coming soon, but I ended up with a delicious chicken biscuit from Jacob's Pickle, and if you know me, I obviously did not get the pickle. My last stop in Brooklyn was the famous view of the Manhattan Bridge from Washington Street. Okay, it's still the same day. I just changed into comfier clothes, but I wanna head down to the West Village and get a slice of Joe's pizza because my pizza dreams this afternoon were crushed. So we're going there and then this is out of the way, but I really wanna hop down to Chinatown also and get um, a boba tea from Tiger Sugar. The pictures online look so good. So I just like, I feel like I need it. <laughs> So, um, as if I haven't walked enough today or been to enough areas of town, um, we're doing it. It's so good. I'm so glad I went, but I don't remember what I got, so I'm going to put the name on the screen. <laughs> Good morning. It's a bit of a rainy one today, but we're gonna do the best we can. Um, we're back on the Upper East Side. I'm going to Bluestone Lane to get a coffee and some breakfast. And then I'll probably go to Central Park. And I don't really have a lot of plans for the day, so we'll see where it takes me. And now we're in Paris. All right, so it's my last day, which I'm sad about, but I also feel like there's no way I could do another day. Like, I am exhausted. Now I'm just walking through Central Park, and I only have a few hours left till I have to go to the airport. It's two, and I need to be there at five. So I'm just gonna probably get a coffee and hang out for a little while, and then go back to the hotel, grab my bag, and then ask them to get me a car to the airport. Important update, the sun is out. And with that, my trip came to an end, but not before I paid $100 for my car to the airport, which was definitely a mistake. And I should have just done public transportation again, but my feet hurt and I thought it would be worth it. And I didn't know it was gonna cost $100, but you're living to learn. Anyway, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I had such a fun time making it and I'll see you next time. Bye.